Welcome to my channel, I'm Tunafish, and today we embark on an exciting experiment with gradient filaments. Hey everyone, Tunafish here. I'm thrilled to kick off a brand new series about 3D printing experiments. This week we are going to be experimenting with creating our own gradient filaments. If you don't know what a gradient is, it's just a transition from one color to another, but it's really smooth instead of being a hard cut over on the colors. What started this is years ago, I wanted to create an ashen key from Sea of Thieves. And as you can see, this one is painted, but if you're doing 3D printing, you don't get that smooth gradient as we're getting here. It's usually, you know, you get one color and then you'd get your next color the next color just a hard cut over and so i had to paint this but what i want to do is i want to be able to create this entire key by using gradient filaments we won't be creating the key today today we're just going to be talking about the gradients we're going to be doing some experimentation to figure out the best method and hopefully come up with a good way to print that the first attempt at creating the gradient involved printing a single color and adding these modifier blocks to it so when it gets sliced, you can see that it's coming out like this. You'll have purple or green or whatever color you're using. And then every now and then swapping out to a different color. And as you go, it's going to have more and more of the secondary color and less of the first color just due to the shape. Uh, the problem with this version, as you can see, it is very weak in between those. And so the filament kept breaking. So for our second attempt, we came over to this one. And as you can see on the top and bottom, we added two layers of a transparent filament. This actually worked fairly well. It was, it was nowhere near as weak. You still had the weak points. Let me go ahead and just slice that. And then for our second experiment, we actually ran with a very similar test. But you can see I painted on some of a different color on the top and the bottom and I used a transparent PLA for that. So when we come into here, you'll see we're doing the exact same thing. You're getting the pink and the, the green, but you're also getting two layers of something else on the top and the bottom, which I was using as transparent. It actually came out quite a bit better. It was much more sturdy than the initial test, but it still wasn't exactly what I wanted. So for our third test, what we did is we actually changed what we were doing completely and we added a cone to the top instead. So we went in, we went add modifier, we added cone. The cone is only one and a half millimeters thick, if I remember right. Uh, and so when you go look at the preview of it, it gives a way different view. It's more, it's transitioning slowly over time. If you look at the outside as the first layers, as we go, more and more green is being added in when you get towards the middle. Problem with this one is one side had more of one color and the other side had more of the other color. So you'd see a, a black and green transition really nice along one side of the benchy boat. You'd look at the other side and it would still be a solid black. So that didn't quite work how we were planning either. And now for our fourth test, again, it was very, very similar to the cone test. But what we did in this one instead is we actually sandwiched the filament between two cones. And we used that modifier. As you can see, we just changed the color of the modifier over here. So we have a black and red. If we go look at the preview, this one looks way cooler. So it starts out, you know, the outside is all black and the more you get into the middle, we're adding just a little bit more red. Every single line inwards. And so you still have the black going in the middle. So you get this darker bottom layer all the way up until you have a solid red in the very center, which is going to be your top of your model. And so the transition actually looks much, much better as you'll see in the skull. And so these results are by no means perfect but I am having a lot of fun doing these experiments and I would love to hear your feedback, your comments, anything like that, that you know, anything you would love to see me test with this. Um, and I know also you can buy gradient and rainbow filaments on the market from a variety of manufacturers, but 
they're never exactly what you want and they don't transition at the exact same layer heights that you need them to transition at. So that's why I think creating custom gradients uh, using bamboo is a really, really exciting opportunity. Um, it allows for complete control over the colors and the trans transitions of your prints. And if you want to try your hands at this, I will have these models on Maker World. Feel free to use them, feel free to download them, feel free to change them, feel free to give me suggestions, and I am happy to test these as well. I would love to see your creations, I would love to hear your feedback, and your ideas could help shape the future experiments of this channel. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to be notified, because we are going to be doing more experiments around gradients, as well as many, many, many other areas of 3D printing. Um, upcoming videos will continue to refine our gradient techniques, and eventually, I will attempt to recreate this ashen key, hopefully with the perfect gradient, all the way from black to red to orange to yellow, and I won't have to paint these ever again. Until next time though, guys, happy printing. I really do appreciate you guys for all of the support that you've shown, and I can't wait to share more of my findings and uh, just my joy, my passion with you guys. Thanks for watching. Thank you.